and the tale of Sweeney Todd. His skin was pale and his eye was odd. He shaved the faces of gentlemen who never thereafter were heard of again. He trod a path that few have trod, did Sweeney Todd. The demon barber of Fleet Street. There was a barber and his wife, and she was beautiful. A foolish barber and his wife She was his reason and his life And she was beautiful And she was virtuous And he was naive was another man who saw that she was beautiful, a pious vulture of the law, who with a gesture of his claw removed the barber from his plate. Then there was nothing but to wait, and she would fall so soft, so young, so lost and oh so beautiful ladies and gentlemen judge turpin you see sir a man infatuate with love her ardent and eager slave so fetch the pomade and pumice stone and lend me a more seductive tone a sprinkling perhaps of french cologne but first sir i think a shame the closest i ever gave <laughs> Stay within you, glancing, stay forever, breathing lightly, pretty women, pretty, pretty women, women, blowing out, blowing their, out their candles, candles or combing out combing their, out their They, they still still be are there. At their mirrors, in their heart, letter writing, flower picking, weather watching, all they, they make a man sing. Proof of heaven, as you're living, living. Pretty, pretty women, sir, pretty women, yes, pretty women, sir, pretty women, pretty women, sir, pretty women, pretty women, pretty women.
No. He's gone. I lost him. And he'll never come again. There's a hole in the world like a great black pit, and it's filled with people who are filled with shit, and the Burman of the world inhabit it. But not for long. We all deserve to die. Tell you why, Mrs. Lovett, tell you why. Because in all of the whole human race, Mrs. Lovett, there are two kinds of men and only two. There's the one staying put in his proper place and the one with his foot in the other one's face. Look at me, Mrs. Lovett, look at you. We all deserve to die. Finished! All right, you, sir, how about a shave? Come and visit your good friend, sweetie. You, sir, two, sir. Welcome to the grave. I will have vengeance. I will have salvation. And my Lucy lies in ashes. And I'll never see my girl again. But the work waits. I am alive at last. And I'm full of joy! <laughs> Len Cariou, Mark Janis. Thank you, Len.